Hi, YouTube. This is Felicia with Bible Scraps. And I have a cool altering, upcycling tutorial for you guys. Okay, if you caught my one of my two videos yesterday, I shared my happy journal Susie Zoo inspired junk journal kit. And in that kit, I, I had one of these vintage diskettes. Okay, so several days ago, I'm at the thrift store and I come across these every now and again, but I saw like a big bundle of these and instantly an idea hit my mind to alter it. So I'm sitting in the car um, at the thrift store in the parking lot and I dismantled one of these. And after I dismantled it, what fell out was a record or what I saw as a record. So this video, it's part one, you guys. It's all about upcycling um, these vintage diskettes and making cute little personalized records. So you see two different records here. And in the video, I offer a tutorial and I talk all about it. I demonstrate how to put it together and what I use. Isn't this fantastic? And some of you might still have these in your stash because I have my vintage diskettes. By the way, you could find these in different colors. Last year, I purchased an adapter so I could read what's on my diskette because the new computers, they don't have the... They don't have the drive for these. So anyway, that was fun to go back and read what I was typing up in the early 2000s, right? All right. I hope you guys enjoy my altering upcycling so, tutorial. This is how it looks, you guys. We are going to dismantle this. We are going to open this up. And you know, it's quite easy to do so. First, you want to remove this part. Now... We can upcycle and use this as a clip. So don't throw it away. Once you take off that piece, I'm going to use scissors. You can use something similar. I just want to, you see how that popped open? You don't need a lot of muscle. You just want to pop it open like that. And while you're at it, hit up. Well, you see what fell out. I wanted to like, I didn't want that to fall out yet, but some of you guys seeing this, if you saw my happy journal kit I have for sale in my Etsy shop, yesterday I shared a couple of videos. Okay, so it pops off like that and for some reason this, I guess it would be the bottom layer, it always... It don't snap off totally in this corner area. I mean, perhaps if I take my time, I could get a clean cut, but that's okay. So when it's said and done, you end up with two flat bases. These do look different. You end up with a record. You also end up with this piece that could be, <laughs> we are really devising right now, you guys. This could be the needle for your record. Okay, you can, for this one, I used white cardstock and then blended in the orange color. But you could start off with color cardstock to um, bypass that whole step. Alrighty, so I used my punches. But you could use your, your dies. I wanted this to be quick and easy. And so a punch is great because you don't have to grab out your die cutting machine and dies and sandwiches and all that. Okay, so you could use a different size circle if you like. Like for instance, well, let me continue. Hopefully I'll come back to my thoughts. This circle is about two and a half inches long. Okay, but we need to create that donut hole inside, right? Alrighty. Well, this is a one inch circle. And I'm going to give you guys a tip. I'm going to offer you guys a tip how you can get the perfect donut hole inside. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is take a one-inch punch. This is Martha Stewart. I'm going to punch it out of white cardstock. And I'm going to add, some of you guys know what I'm about to do, right? I'm going to glue this down. And I'm going to eyeball it. Once again, you can use your dies for this. I'm going to bring it closer to me. And I'm going to eyeball it right in the center where I think the center is. Once you align it, punch out the white center. And this is not perfect, perfect, but it's good enough for me to use as a template. So now when, what we're going to do, you know, let's play. Let's see how it would look if we left the metal in like that. Or turned it over like that so there's variations you could leave the metal in you could make a shaker with this middle part too but what I'm going to do because I want a record by the way if you haven't seen a record in a while because records are vintage let me show you this record this was my inspiration <laughs> because I had forgotten how a record look. Okay, so you know, I'll leave it I'll leave it right there. And so once again, because if you look at the record, you have a lot of black record that shows well, I have more label that shows and I'm okay with that if you wanted to adjust how much label shows you would adjust the size circles that you need that you use in combination together ha -ha! we are going to use Mira cardstock and we are going to use my favorite color Mira cardstock we okay oh look and then line it up I'm not adding any glue or anything you do have to hold it together so you can get a nice donut hole like that. And let's take a look at my gold or my champagne record. By the way, you can make a gold record, right? That would be a platinum hit record. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. Oh, I like that. Oh, ha, ha, ha. okay, so. To create the record, because you see here it says golden record. Now, this is where you can personalize, you guys, to your heart's content. I am going to use rubber stamps. Now, you can write, use your, your own handwriting to write your information. You could print out the information and then cut it. You can, um, let's see what else, use stickers. Be creative. By the way, you guys, this is the perfect material, in my opinion, for a record. It looks like a record, but it's it's not, well, I'm not going to call it flimsy because I don't think it would be really easy to tear it, but you see how flowy it is. Just perfect, and it looks to me like, like a record. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so to stamp, because this is a glossy surface, we do need to use a permanent ink. Stays on is a permanent ink. And that's what I'm using in black. And I'm going to spell out record. Now you can use clear stamps. And you could put all of your clear stamps on a block and just stamp one time. But I'm gonna I'm gonna use these. And when you're when you stamp on something slippery. You don't want to press down too hard. You just press and lift because it will smear. Now this permanent ink will dry really fast. But you do want to give it several seconds to dry because you can smear it. I am not going for perfection. It's going to be cute. It's going to have that handmade look. But I realize, oh, okay. I should have stamped a little higher above the donut hole record, but it's okay. 
This is cute. R D. So I have my record and I used a phrase, a stamp that said just for you. But to create the 45, I am using clear stamps. I already have them on the block. Now I think records come in 65 and 35. They you can find different numbers. I think the numbers represent the speed. So you can customize. Make that a little bit darker. And then again, maybe I should leave it alone. Oh, okay, that's good. So I have my 45. Now, you could also use, and this is a great way to use up your roller stamps. This one is of pets, so why not? First stamp, off stamp, and then bring it a little closer to me. I really can't see here. And that says Bow Wow. But you know what? If I didn't, well, I'm going to leave it. But I do know that you can erase your your uh, ink with alcohol. I'm just not too sure how it will, how alcohol will react with this glossy card. All right, you guys. I, okay, I decided to play around with the two inch punch with the one inch punch to create a two inch size donut hole to give you guys a comparison. So I think this was a two and a half inch circle I used. So if you want to have more record and less label that shows, use a smaller, create a smaller donut hole. I think you could get away with both of them, but this one does look more like a record because you should see more record, more black than you do label. And what's great about this size is you could still, well, I could still use my rubber stamps. So I spelled out record. The name of this song is Hello. But once again, you can personalize and say anything you want to say. It's a 45 record. And if, well, I don't want to sift and sort through my smaller stamps because I could have added other images. So let's take a look. Oh, I still have to add a name to this record. This one smeared because I didn't realize I was using a non-permanent ink. So that's why it smeared. But I was surprised that I used black licorice. If you let it sit, it can become a permanent ink. That's good to know. All right, you guys, that will do it for me. If you have found inspiration in this video, uh, why not like it? I think it's so cool, right? Some of you guys might be already altering these. I I haven't seen it um, done but if you have not tried it, go ahead and give it a try. You saw how easy it was to dismantle this. Now, I will have a part two because we need to alter. We got to upcycle the bases, right? You could pretty much, with every part and component, you could upcycle and recycle it. And you will see me do that with part two. So if you are interested, don't just like. But go ahead and subscribe. And while you are subscribing, ring that notification bell to be notified to be notified of future uploads. If you decide to adopt my idea, go ahead and do so. I only ask for proper credits. Do give shout outs and do link back to this tutorial. This is so cute, you guys. You could personalize for any occasion, any day. Oh my goodness, so fun. All right. Want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.